This video is an introduction to Hierarchy Viewer, a tool for viewing and debugging a UI structure and performance. This video shows you how to run Hierarchy Viewer, look at a UI structure and appearance, and identify its possible performance issues. This video uses the Contact Manager sample application as an example. To start using Hierarchy Viewer, run an emulator and start the application you want to look at. For security reasons, you can only run Hierarchy Viewer on an emulator. Unlock the emulator screen if necessary, then run your application. Now run Hierarchy Viewer in a shell. This displays the Windows pane, which contains a list of the available activities. Double click the name of the application activity you want to look at. This begins loading the view information. You now see a group of panes that display the structure, layout, and properties of your UI. Remember that an Android UI is defined as a set of views organized in a tree. The tree pane shows you this tree. Each node corresponds to a view. If you don't see a node in this pane, go to the tree overview pane and drag the viewport block to the area that you want to look at. You can also do this by clicking and dragging in the tree pane. To zoom in on part of the tree, use the slider at the bottom of the tree pane, or use your mouse's scroll wheel. The layout pane contains a block diagram of the UI. When you click on a node, its position in the display is highlighted in bold red. Parents of the selected node are highlighted in light red. Visible views that are neither children nor parents of the selected node are in white. You can also click a block in the layout pane and see the corresponding node in the tree pane. To look at a view's appearance on the screen, double click its node. This displays a dialog that contains a rendering of the view as it would appear on the emulator. You can change the dialog background with the buttons at the top of the dialog. When you select Show Extras, the dialog displays the text baseline and padding for the view. You are probably familiar with the various settings you can make for a view either in the layout XML file or in your application. These are known as the View's Properties. In the View Properties pane, you can look at a View's Properties without having to look in the XML or source code. To look at the properties within a category, click the expander to the left of the category name. For example, under Miscellaneous, you can see that the text property for checkbox is Show Invisible Contacts. You can save information from Hierarchy Viewer for later use. The tree view can be saved to a PNG file. To do this, click the Save as PNG button at the top of the window. This is how the tree appears in Photoshop. You can also save the current state of the UI to a Photoshop file. Each view is saved as a separate layer. To do this, click the Capture Layers button at the top of the tree view. In Photoshop, you can show and hide layers to see the effect on the UI. Perhaps the most useful feature of Hierarchy Viewer is its ability to display the rendering performance of the UI. In Android, the rendering performance is the time it takes to measure, layout, and draw the UI. Hierarchy Viewer displays these times for each view. In addition, 
the view's performance relative to all the other nodes in the tree is displayed as dots at the bottom of the node. From left to right, these indicate measure, layout, and draw times. For example, this checkbox has a relatively slow measure time, represented by a yellow dot. In comparison, this list view has a relatively fast measure time, represented as a green dot. This frame layout view has a red dot for its layout time. This means that its layout time is longer than for any other node in the tree. Using the dots as performance indicators helps you identify possible performance issues with nodes in the tree. Remember though that slow performance is not necessarily bad. A view with many children may take a relatively long time. For example, frame layout has a very long layout time because it has four children more than any other view on the display. Android has to lay out these children first before it can finish laying out the frame layout. This concludes the video. To learn more about Hierarchy Viewer as a whole, refer to its entry in the Android Developer Guide.